Yo, what's up? Yeah, just trying to figure out what the next wine talk is going to be on. You know, episode 13. Yo, what's good? What's up? <laughs> so, yeah, trying to figure out what we're doing for episode 13 of Wine Talk. Oh, you got this. So, yeah, she mentioned duck horn, so. Yes, duck horn. Duck horn? Yeah. 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 All right, duck horn it is. All right. Let's get it. Everybody, this is your girl, Miss Annalise Lenore, and this is Wine Talk episode 13. Whoa, 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 whoa. I know you're not about to do this without me. Relate to the party, try to call me. What's up, everybody? This is Eric Collins. This is episode 13 of Wine Talk. Let's get it. <sighs> so, like I said, guys, this is episode 13 of Wine Talk. We are finally here. The new wine of the week is a 2017. Duck Horn Cabernet Sauvignon. So, this wine right here, a lot of people have seen at, a, at numerous of stores. Um, I've seen it a whole lot, I'm sure. Have you seen this? Yes, I have. A bunch of times, many times. But well, have you ever tried? I have not tried it, but we're going to try it. So, <laughs> so, guys, like I said, Duck Horn, you can find pretty much in any store. Uh, now, this brand right here, or this, this is a Cabernet. Uh, so, just kind of give you a little bit about uh, duck horn or the different wines they make. So duck horn actually makes, of course, the Cabernet Sauvignon. They make a Merlot. They make a Sauvignon Blanc. They make a Chardonnay. So they have various wines that you could try. This right here, of course, is the Cabernet. It's the 2017. Uh, roughly about 14 and a half percent. So it is strong, but actually, it's pretty good. You actually don't take. You don't taste the the wine. Well, my bad. The alcohol. Should I say? Um, so you could, it's easily, it's easily you could drink this whole bottle in one setting. So, wow. Yeah, it's that good. We'll see. So, um, Duck Horn, like I said, it is a Napa Valley wine. Y'all know how I feel with my Napa Valley wines. Um, I guess I am a little biased of it. So, this right here actually is, this tells pretty much everything you need to know about a Napa Valley wine. This wine is fantastic, it is a must try. Please go check it out. Cost on this one is roughly about, eh, looking about $70. So it's a little more than the previous wines I've showed, but also it's scored about 93. So, which means it's a very good wine and it's high quality too as well. So, speaking of, so you say you saw duck corn before, but haven't tried it. I have not gotten the opportunity to try it, but I'm sure if you like it, I'm more than likely would like it as well. So, before we actually get to the tasting, um, this wine right here actually has a blend of Merlot. So, I don't know if it's really considered as a red blend because it's more of a Cabernet. It's about 12% of Merlot, so it has a different taste to it. Uh, it's not as dark as a Cabernet. This is more like, uh, it has a color in more... It's a little bit lighter than your average yeah, red wine. Like, a, really like a Pinot Noir in a sense, a little bit darker. Uh, but this one right here, they use, you know, uh, blackberries, um, they use chocolate, they use uh, oak, stuff like that with this kind of wine right here. So it's a really good wine. I think she's going to like it. It's real tasty. So let's get to the fun part. Let's get to it. I already poured you a glass, so here you go here. Yes, sir. All right. I have mine here. We're going to toast this up for a second. Cheers. Let me know how you like it. I can this definitely is, tell it's a blend. I can. This is definitely the first time this tasting y'all. So this is not one of those. This wine is 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 the greatest. That's why she's tasting. This is the first time doing it. Okay, I like it. Okay, it's different. It's mm -hmm. definitely a blend. Like mm -hmm. I said, I can tell it's a blend. Number one, because the color, mm -hmm. texture's different. So expect that. Um, it's not as smooth. Okay. Because of it being a blend. When it when it's not a blend, this it's a smooth texture. It's, this is definitely you can taste the alcohol. So for those of you who like things that are a little bit more stronger and not as mellow, it'll definitely yes. This this is going to relax you, so you can easily drink that whole bottle by yourself. This is a wine of elegance, y'all. It is. Now I would say if I could pair it with something, I would pair it with the red meat. I don't eat red meats, but I would definitely pair it with one. Maybe a steak. So since it blends with Merlot, it's more, like I said, it's more of a blend. So you can do uh, your prime ribs. You can do 
your regular rack of ribs. Um, now you can also do brisket. Yeah, um, awesome, but. Yeah, so it kind of goes with both sides of the you know the food pairing. Um, like I said, it's more like it reminds me of a peanut the war because you could pair with pretty much anything. Um, mm -hmm. But this is for, this is for you alcohol drinkers. <laughs> this is definitely for you alcohol drinkers that maybe you want to cut back a little bit and you don't want to drink anything heavy and harsh as like a, a brown liquor. This right here, it'll get you there. I can tell. It, it kind of has a little burn to the throat a little bit, just a little bit. Um, yeah, um, this, this, yeah, it, this would actually go with a good cigar. It would. Yeah. It now, would. It also, uh, it has hints of mint, and also, a lot of people don't know this, but it also has uh, pieces of graham cracker as well. Yep. Graham cracker. Graham crackers. The cookie. <laughs> The cookie, graham cracker cookie. So if you're a cra if you're a good a good graham cracker fan. <laughs> <laughs> wow, but, gingerbread, good. So like I said, this is definitely this is definitely a, a wine to taste. You see duck corn everywhere. Um, now you could get you could find duck corn a little cheaper. There are some about about thirty dollar. You might find some about thirty thirty four dollars. This one, like I said, seventy. There are some that goes up to a hundred, hundred thirty five, one forty. So you do have the different types. So they have it more exclusive. Correct. Yes. Okay. Correct. Okay. So, so you get your simple. So how much was this bottle? This is a seventy dollar bottle. Okay. Uh, and I will say that this is seventy dollars of good money because, like I said, that alcohol content. Mm -hmm. Do not expect this to be mm -hmm. like a Stella Rose. Please don't expect it to be like that. This not do not prepared, expect so it to be like a Moscato because this is this mm -hmm. has more alcohol content. Mm -hmm. And like I said, I can definitely tell if you're a real wine drinker, you can definitely tell that this is a blend so it's going to give you the both the best of both sides and the color pay attention to that the color is really different right so it's more of a dark it's more like a dark cherry type color yeah but like i said it reminds me a lot of peanut the war because it's a little brighter than the average uh cabinet so guys like i said this has been another episode of wine talk episode 13 please continue to follow us thank you guys for all the reviews um, you can catch episodes 1 through 12 on our YouTube and then 13, of course, that's coming out right now. Um, anything you want to tell them? Let's get it. <laughs> Hold on, I got to do the... Mm -hmm. Let's go. <laughs> Holla.